Hello and welcome. Today we'll look at three intriguing hydrostatic puzzles, but without solutions. The solutions will be released next week, hopefully. Comment any ideas or questions about them below. The first problem is known as the hydrostatic paradox. Suppose on a table we have three containers. Each of these containers have the same base area at the bottom, but as we go up, the one on the left has an increasing cross-sectional area, the one in the middle has a constant cross-sectional area, and the one on the right has a decreasing cross-sectional area. Then we fill each of these with water, to the same water level. So what is the paradox here? Well first, for some background, for a fluid in equilibrium, the pressure is related to height by dp dz is equal to negative rho g. The sign could also be positive if you choose your direction in that manner. Now this simply means delta p is equal to negative rho g delta z. So all that matters for pressure is change in height. Therefore, since we filled them to the same water level, the pressure at the bottom is equal for all three. Furthermore, since force is equal to pressure times area and the cross-sectional area at the bottom is the same for all three, the force at the bottom is the same for all three. But how can this be? The volume of water is much greater in the first cut compared to the second, and the second compared to the third. If the volumes are different, how can the forces at the bottom be the same? If you find a resolution to this paradox, comment it down below. Now the second problem is about a balance, or seesaw. We have a balance with two plates and a container on each side. We first fill the containers with water to the same water level. Then in the container on the left, we place a ping pong ball. And in the container on the right, we place a rock. The two of them have the same volume. Since the ping pong ball wants to float and the rock wants to sink, we must hold them in place. We tie the ping pong ball to the floor and hang the rock from a stand. Does the balance tip right? Or does it tip left? Or does it not tip at all? Comment your answer down below. Lastly, for our final problem, we have a perpetual motion machine. Consider the following. We have a tub of water with two gears or pulleys on the side. And on the strings going around it, we attach some ping pong balls. Now on the left, since ping pong balls are less dense than water, they will want to float. On the right, gravity will pull them down. This means that this string has a net force along the string. The forces will rotate the string of the ping pong balls clockwise. So if we release it, it should start rotating faster and faster, right? So if it does that, we can connect these pulleys to a generator and we'd get infinite electricity. But this is not allowed by the conservation of energy. So what's the issue with this perpetual motion machine? Comment your answer down below. And for this, don't cite friction or viscosity. This is a more important energy loss. So that's it for this video. Hopefully these puzzles are fun to think about. And thanks for watching.